you get what you ask for. That's one thing that I'm really starting to realize, coming to grips with, which I think is pretty fair. Assuming that you aren't full of shit, and I'll explain. So, for example, I, like a lot of people, want to find ways to be more gritty or have more grit. True true grit, you know. I want to be the toughest guy in the world. I want to be a warrior, so to speak, you know what I mean? But I realize that <laughs> it's hard to be gritty. It's hard to have grit when everything is going your way. You know, when you don't have enough to mold you, you know, as they say, pressure makes diamonds, so to speak. And it's like, if you don't have that type of pressure, where does the grit come from? And sure, you know, there are practices that you can do to make yourself tougher, um, you know, mentally, physically, you know. And um, or and not even just about being tougher. I guess you say mentally tough, but to have the fortitude to deal with the day to days, the uncertainty of life. There's things you can do: martial arts, and you know, bodybuilding, working out, and getting into sports, and meditating. All those things, and it's great practice, especially as you are going through the struggles of life. But life itself. That's the game. You got all the practices, but life itself is the game. And so, so many of us try to apply what we learn in books in our actual lives. And it's good, you know, we know what to look out for and stuff. And nothing quite trumps experience, however. Or to be placed in um, unfavorable situations and using your perspective to get out of such situations or to cope with, to move on from, to learn, to grow, to resolve to do better and get better results. I think the writing is there on on the wall. And um, something (laughs) that I make myself believe is that maybe certain things aren't for me because it's not it's not what I set out to do. Or you may, okay, you may struggle at certain things that you're doing because it's not, it's not your destiny. It's not for you. Like, for example, um, I had some pretty good games of bowling or whatever, and recently I've just been falling off. I've been terrible. It's like I'm just starting all over. It's like all the hours I put into it was for nothing. But you know what? I'm not trying to be a professional bowler. And it's like all the frustration that I go through in trying to bowl. Shouldn't that frustration be put somewhere else? And the answer is yes. The The frustration should be put towards something that is more worthwhile for me. Something that I actually want to do. I want to fail at something that is more so for me. I don't want to fail at something because oh, it's a great activity and I like to do I like to do it. It's just not enough. Because how foolish do you look when you fail at something that, you know, that isn't a part of your destiny, that isn't a part of your goals, that isn't going to help shape your legacy. It's a it's a foolish thing, and it's it's hard for me to come to grips with that. It's the same thing with basketball. I put a lot of time into playing basketball, and I had a bad day today. Well, in my mind, I took some things personally because I miss shots I should have made and some games I wasn't making shots at all and it's at the I mean it's probably why I haven't pulled out this uh my laptop um and I just took it so personally and it's like I'm not going to the NBA I promise I'm not I could make every shot that comes my way. I'm not making it to the NBA at this point. I'm 31 years old and I'm five foot five. I don't have the desire to to go there, and um, yeah, it just really has me thinking that uh, 
I'm wasting my time with felling at, at these activities. I could be felling at something more worthwhile. Something where I actually have a chance of becoming a master at and um, shaping my legacy. Maybe it's not as sexy. Maybe it's not as easy to get into, but it's it's worth it. Um, being in this cycle, although I am very fit at this point, but being in the cycle of the frustration of balancing multiple sports and, <laughs> you know, not really having much energy for too much else. It's like, it is, that's not going to work for me. And so, to kind of come full circle, that the, the signs are there. You say you want to do something, you write write it in your journal. You find yourself in situations that would enable you to go on that path. For example, maybe you got a lot of free time. Or maybe you you don't have a child or you don't have a relationship you know, or that is an opening for you to do the things you say you want to do. There's no FOMO. There's no fear of missing out. What are you missing out on? And, uh, you know, that's one thing I realized from taking a step back. In fact, from not being on um, Facebook and Instagram specifically, is that as my phone tells me, my watch time is down maybe five, six hours a day. That void it seemed like it with with that um, with that time that I that I got back from doing that I started exercising more. But that void will allow for me to do some things that I find to be more worthwhile. Okay? So be very clear that what you're asking for is what you really want because you're going to be put in positions that may compromise you on your way to becoming the the person you want to be, the have the results that you want. You know what I mean? You'll have those openings. So to speak on grit, you ask for grit you asking for situations that are going to help you mold grit. And there's really um, no way around it. And if you say you are a person who has grit, for example, it it will be tested. It will be tested. And be, it's because I is what I asked for. I can't complain. I can't even get upset about it. You, I want to be tough while the game is on. And it's very clear. It's very apparent. But there's a reason why I wanted this. There's a reason why I wanted to be gritty and be a stoic. So I have to be. I feel like this is what's going to make um, make a leader out of me. It's going to allow for me to be the best example that I um, that I could be. And so with that said, I hope this helps. You will be hearing more from me in the near future. All right, take care.